This is our composting, vermicomposting operation. And what I'd like to show you today is how to make bukashi because we're using bukashi to feed to our worms. So the first thing you would need is a bottle of EM. EM is um, a whole bunch of bacteria. Some of them are aerobic and some of them are anaerobic, plus enzymes and so forth. And then you need molasses, about a quarter of a cup molasses. And then you need a container about this size with a uh, one-way air valve in it. And you can get these things at any um, beer making uh, facility. Uh, and in order to make bokashi, you need to make this. So I will show you uh, how to make this first. Uh, let's pretend that this is empty. So you would need a little bit of molasses. And then you would need a, a quarter of a cup of EM. And you also stir it in this cup, in this water, and you fill up the water up to about here. And then you let it sit for about two weeks. Then what you could do is you could start using this as your uh, activated activated uh, bacteria or activated EM to do your bukashi. Uh, it, we're starting to use it on our vermicompost because worms seem to like it even though the pH is a little low but by doing this we can prolong the life of our uh, food waste. And we put it in barrels and by doing this bukashi which means fermentation in Japanese we can uh, extend the life of, of our food waste and we can use it whenever we want. These white powder up here and, and these are bacteria that actually were created inside this bottle and that's a good indication actually that this is an activated EM that works really well. So in order to make the bukashi, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix my molasses. My activated EM. This is the bruise grain and it comes out of, the, out of the brewery and we actually added EM to it already and here you could see that it already has the bacteria in it and if we combine this with our food waste it's going to preserve our food waste for a long time one thing you have to remember that these containers have to be sealed because we're talking about a anaerobic process. So this is a a uh, 55 gallon sealed container that we just mixed food waste and and the bukashi that we created from uh, from uh, the brewer's grain. And as you could see right here that there's onions, there's old bread and the smell is not that bad because of the fact that it was fermented and it's basically like making kimchi or making pickles. So we're basically pickling the food waste and we're bringing the pH to about uh, about 3.7 in, in this container. I checked it a couple of times and at first I thought that the worms would not like it but after trying it several times I realized that they don't mind. We take this and we grind it up again like like we did with the chipper and we create some kind of a 
paste. So this is a worm bin and we just fed them yesterday and the worms are in here. The worm digests the food and it goes through his uh, stomach. The end product is worm casting which is terrific for uh, feeding plants. It's actually much better compost than than any other compost we found out. So this this thing will get sieved a little bit and be cleaned up and all you're gonna have is is the casting without worms because we would like to keep the worms so we separate the worms and we bring them back into our production. Um, it's important to maintain a big number of worms if you wanna if you wanna do a good job at uh, at breaking down the food. You're gonna get a nice uh, nice product to, to add into your garden. And what we like to do is mix regular compost with worm casting, and that seems to work well for us. <laughs>